So this is from worksheet six, the review. Show that, right? We're being kind. This is really a proof. But since people panic when we say proof, sometimes we avoid it. Um, Did you have an idea what to do first on this one? Uh, I tried many ideas. <laughs> you tried many ideas. Did you try multiplying the top and bottom by the conjugate? Yes. Good. You should have tried that. Let's try that. Um, and I think you could actually do that on, on either side. Now, show and prove means only work on one side. But you could work on either side and, and eventually land at the same place or land at the right place. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate, change the middle sign, because I know that will work magic um, in the denominator. In the numerator, I'm probably just going to leave it. But in the denominator, 1 plus sine times 1 minus sine is 1 minus sine squared. Remember, I'm always looking at my answer as well. Like That's not cheating. That's the goal is to get there. Um, and I see 1 plus sine on my side and 1 plus sine on the other side, so I'm, I'm feeling good about that. 1 minus sine squared, that sounds like... <coughs> know that sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, so I can rearrange that. Cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. Oh, I think that's very good news. It's easy when I do it, right? So one of the cosines will cancel, and we're left with 1 plus sine over cosine. I'm glad you asked that one. That was a conjugate question. There is a, a conjugate question on the test that requires that, that sort of thing. You might can see that if you work the other side, you'd multiply top and bottom by 1 minus sine, and something really similar would happen, and you'd be left with 1 minus sine in the bottom and cosine in the top. So that one is about the same, whichever side you work on. Number 8 is pretty much the same thing as well. Yes, sir? What is the conjugate? The conjugate is where you change that middle sign. If one minus sign's in there, that's sort of a hint that I should probably multiply by one plus sign because it leads to some trig identity stuff. That's just one of those tricks that we need to know. If you see one plus cosine or one minus cosine, probably multiply by the conjugate and see what happens. Other odd questions from Worksheet 6? don't have a test outline, but do you want a, a unit overview? Yes, no, or do you just want to work on the odds? You tell me, do you want to... 